this next question is kind of juicy. <laughs> I hate the noise. I hate the noise. Pray for me to get my own house for privacy, for freedom. Pray for me, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, my name is Emma Kanyubusana. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to the channel. I really missed you guys. It's been a while since I actually did a video. And let's appreciate this space because we had forgotten about it. And I remember the way I was so excited and I forgot about it. Damn. Oh my god <laughs> so today i'm coming to you with another interesting video kamakawa ida and it will be not something that you're used to you're used to vlogs you're used to lifestyle content you're used to tutorials and today i just want to sit down and introduce myself to you i realized that i have never done any video introducing myself to you and you guys getting to know me so i'm gonna do a quick q and a section and there's some questions that i gathered here not much just i think 10 and I hope that you're gonna enjoy. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Also, give me a huge thumbs up so that I can get recommended to everyone that is on YouTube. When you like my videos or interact interact with my videos, YouTube gets to promote my videos to the home page, the FYP page, and other people will get to see my videos. There are many, many good content creators that are really, really like trying to emerge. And me and my them. I'm gonna put myself in the uh we are really trying to put ourselves out there and sometimes it may not work and we just have to be consistent so guys promote us promote us by liking our content sharing copying the link and also subscribing also turn on the notification bell to get notified every time i post a new video you would never want to miss something from me something from this cute face no you would never so if you don't know me you're gonna know me in a minute and thank you so much for always clicking onto my videos god bless you you know let's get started a lot of chit chat. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. Look at you. Let's get started. Now. So the first thing uh, I'm gonna answer is what is my name? My names are my names. Yes, I have three names. My names are Emma Karemi Kanana. I have a surname. But I have given you Kanana because that is not for only special people, but you are among them. You are among them from today. So you can call me Nana, you can call me Emma, and you can call me Karimi. But my favorite is Nana. <laughs> my favorite is Nana. So apparently, I know some relatives that you are joining a Kongo, you but anyway, that's not the case. So that is my name and my age. How old am I? I'm just 21. I'm turning 22 in a few months. What is my career? So, guys. A lot of people don't know my career and it is okay. I am a medic, Mimi ni Dr. You can call me Dr. by the way. A lot of people call me that. Uh, I study, I'm still a student, a final year student at Yomo Kenyatta University. You know, you know. <laughs> so, in a bachelor's degree in medical microbiology. Yeah. We do everything that is microscopic, that involves your body, diagnostic procedures, and also research, drug researchers, genomic science, everything. Like, we are the real deal. Doctors cannot work without us. <laughs> they can never, they can never. So, what are my hobbies? I, I am a girl who loves doing a lot of things. I love doing a lot of things, and they include, I cook. I can cook for you good food ask people who have eaten or, or tasted my food i can cook for you well well mm? i love cooking i love experimenting in the kitchen i also love crocheting you can look at this top right here that i'm 
in right now that I've worn right now. Hmm? This top is handmade by me. And I just started, funny thing, I just started crocheting like two months ago and already I've made a lot of products that I wear. And uh, I love learning new things, you know? Crocheting is something else that I started and I am in love with it. And uh, I also do art, I draw. I used to draw, okay, uh, right now it's kind of dormant, but I love drawing. I, draw, I used to draw portraits and uh, a lot of other things, you know? And uh, something else that kind of emerged out of drawing is designing. I do designs for clothes, I dre dresses, any, any apparel. I do designs and also the last thing that I do that involves art is I am a makeup artist. I do makeup, I've been doing it ever since I was in, uh, is it Form 3? Now that is the time that I started doing makeup and it, it was an interest that just came out. And it has led me to have interest in skincare and other beauty related things you know and that is me i also do nails that is another thing i am a nail tech i started doing nails like uh, i think it was 2021 or 2022 i think it was 2022 uh i do nails i am a nail tech i give i give up my services i teach i am also a beauty educator so all everything and uh, you know anything that involves hands and working i am so perfect i am i don't want to toot my hand too uh, too fast but give credit to any way where it is due you know, i love doing anything that is handy you know anything that involves creativity i am in and my work is always like the best Ask around ask around i love content creation i love photography i love videography i love everything that involves art <laughs> yes and that's me so the next question is what are my pet peeves my pet peeves are um, I, i'm a neat freak so anything that is not neat or organized Mm -hmm. I don't like it. And even uh, some someone is asked me the other day, uh, do I have OCD? And I was like, mm, I was not. I was told not to diagnose myself without actually going to see a physician or a therapist to actually say that about me. But mild symptoms of OCD, I have them. I'm the one who is very particular in what I want. I hate that. I hate disorganization. I hate. I love things to be done my way. Nikiacha kitu apo please irudisha apo. If I don't, if you didn't find that uh, glass over there, please take it to the sink. You know, I love organization that much. And the other thing, the other question that I have is, why did I start YouTube and content creation? So, let me start with why did I start YouTube? Actually, YouTube is the first thing I started uh, among us, the content creation game. And the reason why I started YouTube is because I figured that I have learned a lot of things through YouTube. I have learned makeup, I have learned skincare, I have learned fashion, I have learned crochet, I have learned nails, everything through YouTube. And I believe that through my videos, someone will get to learn something, someone will get educated or entertained through my content. And also, I love talking. If you didn't know, if you didn't realize, I love talking. I can talk, I teach. I love talking, interacting, and teaching, but not physical. I just love this is a safe space for me because I don't, you're not like it's not a physical person I'm talking to, it's a phone or a camera. Yeah, I love talking and teaching, but I don't like people. So I actually uh, figure out that concentration is one way to put myself out there without actually encountering people, you know? <laughs> yes. And that is why I started YouTube. I believe that someone will get into my videos and learn something and get something. And, you know, I learned, yeah, it was my refuge when I was looking for answers. Uh, uh, when I was in adolescence, I wanted to know why am I smelling, you know, good shower routines, you know, I wanted to know different ways to style my hair. I wanted to feel feminine and that is why I started YouTube. And I pray that someone lost prodigal son at a part of channel younger <laughs> soon. And the other thing why I started content creation in, uh, on other platforms is I love taking photos that I've said. I love photos, photography. I love doing things. Mm -hmm. I love makeup. So I decided, oh, why am I doing everything? I start doing my makeup and I'm wondering who's seen my work? No one. And I decided to put it out there and you know, you don't lose me, you don't lose anything. So that's why I even I started conversation on TikTok and on YouTube because I enjoyed sharing what I did, you know. And I saw that my my things are like wonderful. People should see. 
it is. Uh, <laughs> and that is why I said TikTok and Instagram. By the fun fact, I've, I never used to be an Instagram girlie. I never had an account. I never knew how Instagram worked up until I think when I was in first year, 2020. Yes. <laughs> this next question is kind of juicy. <laughs> this question is kind of juicy and it is, am I in a relationship? <laughs> Uh, so am I in a relationship? Yes, I am. And that is all I can say. <laughs> so we are coming down to the last two questions. And yeah, I don't know. What do you think about me? Am I entertaining? Am I fun? Am I friendly? Am I warm? Comment down below. Tell me something. Eh? <laughs> Tell me something. I really love to interact with you down below in the comment section. So please engage with me. Say hi. I will respond. Definitely. I respond to every comment. The other question is my most embarrassing moment. Ah! ah, ah. <laughs> I was in high school. It was entertainment day, Saturday. We used to have entertainment, uh, I think, from 12 or from 1. No, from 2. Yes, from 2 all the way to 6, supper time. We used to have entertainment or see you, see a, or you can go make phone calls, you know, journalism. For me, I'm, I was an entertainment guy. And this particular day, uh, I was serving. We had the service per class. So, and there was this thing that was going on in our class that we cut it because we your sana. And I was like, no, enough is enough. <laughs> I said enough is enough, and I said no one will steal bread in my days. Eh? And I was so determined to, when that bell for four, tea four, it ring, I was, I will be the first one in your kitchen with water. I had blue crocs on that had no threads. I can't remember. And they were very, very sleepy. Mm -hmm. And our tables were shiny stainless steel. You can imagine. So you could not see any liquid on the table. They were shiny. And this particular day, someone poured coffee. You know, we can have a bit of entertainment, we have coffee or tea, you go with it, eh? you sip as you watch. <laughs> and uh, someone poured the coffee on the table, and I was seated from four up on belly. You can imagine uh, the respect, you are coming respect to my on belly. And, uh, now I stood up confidently and nikakanyanga meza and you know what happened you know what happened next the slide nikanguka na mgongo niko juu ya meza call imeja watu i am a phone you can imagine the embarrassment you can imagine it <laughs> And it took me like three weeks to actually get through some, at least, at least a fraction of the embarrassment. <laughs> and the other question is something people don't know about me, about you, about me. So, uh, there's something people don't know about me. Mm -hmm. Let me think about it. Yeah, I know something. Uh, I believe people don't, don't know that I am an empath. An empath is someone who feels the emotions of another person and they mirror their emotions you know when i stay with you when you are jolly i'll be jolly when you are crying i'll feel so sorry when you are sick i'll feel bored you know i actually like partake in your emotions you know and also another thing that people don't know about me is uh i've been raised by a single parent and that does not define me actually if you know me, you know that I'm one person who is very like uh, I'm very content with my life. I don't regret anything at all. Oh, my dad was oh, all actually we are friends with my dad and yeah, everything. I think those are the two things that people may not know about me. I'm very I'm an empath, I'm a very emotional kind of girl, and also I've been raised by a single mother. And yeah. That's it. We hope that you at least got to know me a little bit more. Or even if you're new here, you knew who Emma was. And now I hope that I won you over over here. Eh? Welcome to the squad. Welcome to this family. 
and that's it for today's video i hope that you enjoyed this i hope that it was interesting and if you loved it please give me a thumbs up please and also show me some love in the comment section send me some love hearts motivate a girl you know and i'll be so honored to reply to your comment and without further ado i will see you next time same place come with our ida give you awesome content and i'm promising to be more consistent right now i was going through a phase eh, to be organized and re strategize and i'm back guys you know and i love you so much i love you be blessed mm.